Hi everyone, welcome to Robin's Reel. This is our first go at trying a different format rather than our normal written newsletter. We're going to put it on YouTube so you can watch it from home or from anywhere as you on your mobile device and hopefully it will make life much easier for getting information to you. The first thing I wanted to talk about today was the new Innovative Futures program or IF. You've probably heard quite a lot about it by now and there's lots of information available on the hub. We had a big launch last week on the 8th of November and the applications are now open. They close on the 30th of November so go to the hub and see what you need to do to put your idea forward. It's a really exciting program and I'm really looking forward to hearing all the great ideas that you have to submit to us. Violence in the workplace unfortunately is becoming an ever-present everyday occurrence. It's very disappointing that our staff are faced with this every single day. However, we're very grateful that the government via the Minister for Health has recently released some funding which will go towards contributing to helping improve the safety of staff right across North Metropolitan Health Service. Whilst we're thinking about violence, it's important to remember that violence also can impact our staff in a family situation, either through patients they come in contact with or directly. We are putting some initiatives in place to support staff who may be in this position, but also to help you understand the questions that you might be able to ask to either support a colleague or a patient at a time when they most need it. That might be the difference in helping that person stop the cycle of violence around them. I encourage you to look at the tab under Workforce on the Hub to get more information. Another one of our new initiatives relates to recognising the service of our employees. We've got lots and lots of activity in this space, starting off with the Employee of the Month and the Employee of the Quarter Awards, which you'll be familiar with, which now have some consistency right across North Metro. You can nominate people at various times for that and you can find the information on the Hub. We've recently now introduced the Going the Extra Mile Award, which has a number of categories for which all of our staff will fit into one of those categories. It's also the opportunity to recognise teams and their contribution to the healthcare environment or to supporting their colleagues as part of that pathway. Again, information's on the hub, nominations are open, get online and have a look. Often the nomination is equally important to the actual service act that the person's done. It takes time to nominate someone and I encourage you to think about your colleagues around you. Over the coming weeks we'll also be recognising employee length of service. For the first time we'll be recognising employees who've had continuous service right across North Metropolitan Health Service, not just within one hospital. This is a really exciting initiative as it means more people will now be able to be included in being recognised. In the next two weeks we'll be recognising those with special ceremonies for the 20, 30 and 40 year service employees, which is an astronomical huge commitment to one employee for at their care in the health service. As we approach Christmas, we'll recognise those who have committed 10 years service to North Metro through the local Christmas functions. And that will be a really great event for those people to be recognised also. I would like to thank and send my appreciation to all of those who've committed a really long period of service to North Metropolitan Health Service. Thank you all so much. Many of you will be aware of the work we've been doing on the values and you've been involved either through stopping in the corridors to give us your feedback or participating in some of the workshops. I'm really pleased to say that the board has now approved the values and will be coming back out to you shortly about how you can become involved in making them real in every single thing we do. I am able, however, to tell you what those values are that you decided upon. Care, respect, innovation, teamwork and integrity. You've told us they're important and we've heard what you want them to mean. So we look forward to making them real, bringing them to your departments and seeing what you want to do with them next. Finally, as Christmas approaches, it's a great time where we have the ability to be able to give back to our community. As we do every year, we'll be again supporting Food Bank with donations of food to support those in need over the Christmas period. We've also got a new initiative for Kids in Care where we'll have the opportunity to provide Christmas presents to children who otherwise may not receive one. If you think you'd like to participate, more information will be coming out shortly. If you're still listening, this is our first go at this and it might be a bit sketchy and jumpy, so apologies for that. If you've got questions for future ones about things you'd like to hear, drop us a note and we'll try to accommodate that. Look forward to talking to you again soon.